We're going to move on with the high build primer. So the machine is pretty much the same, same setup, same tip size. We've mixed the paint. Again, it's a high build epoxy primer, so you have to mix it really thorough. So we've done that, we've aggregated it, um, put a bit of thinners in, not too much because this is your high build primer. So we're, the aim of this is to get as much build as we can. I just want to show you something because I'm sure people are going to notice. And again, this comes from me being the boss and a little bit tight, people will say. But yes, we have used the paper from the top with the epoxy on it and we've reused that. You know, it's just one of them silly little things that, you know, I pay the bills as well as do some of the work. So I'm sure somebody's going to pick up on it. So yes, I have been tight and we have used the same paper. We've insulated with spray foam insulation, so that's actually stuck to the steel and gets in all the nooks and crannies. So we've protected the boat on the inside with our primer and our insulation. We've shot blasted, we've put our first coat of high build primer, we've put a second coat of high build primer, so that's sealed all the fillers in, um, stop any moisture getting into there. Um, and then today we're going to put our finishing primer on. Um, it's another product from Alex Seal. The product's that good that it'll come out smooth without putting tons of thinners. Again, another reason why I prefer the airless. Uh, conventional spray, I'd probably have to put a lot more thinners in it to get a really nice finish. Mm -hmm. 